high. In certain cases, you want to repeat a block of information data in your Word document and repeat that for every record you have. Instead of repeating one paragraph or one table or one row, you want to repeat this entire block of information. You can do this with a table and then repeat the table. Just put all the data in the table. But now we have a second option. This can be interesting in cases you want to reduce the overheads of drawing tables inside the document, or you rather not use a table for certain reasons. Okay, let me, sh let me show you how you can create a content controller block. For that, you need to enable the developer tools on your MS Word. How to do that? Just go here, go to options, and in options, there is the, uh, uh, access, uh, the customized ribbon. And in the customized ribbon, there is the developer options. If you check this checkbox, you will see this, button, uh, this uh, menu item over there. When you go here, there is a uh, content controller section here that you can use. And if you just click on that content controller section, then you see this entire block is now wrapped in a content controller. And this content controller is exactly what we're going to repeat inside your document. Okay, so I have my content controller here. I save my, uh, uh, my Word document. And now I'm going to go to <clears throat> Salesforce and to PDF Butler. First of all, I have a data source that selects all the opportunity products from, uh, from an opportunity because I want to repeat this uh, content block for every opportunity. And second, I have a doc config. I already started on the doc config, so let's quickly open it so we can take a look. And I also so already created the, uh, um, the component here to show the content and rows controller uh, document that can be generated. Okay, so I have my data source in, and I have created a uh, config type of type content controller. I'm first going to upload my documents that I have just changed. Okay, and now <clears throat> let's uh, create this all over again. I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to create it together with you. So in my document, I'm going to identify my uh, content controller block with this um, config type, merge field. So I'm going to copy this merge field and create my config type for the content controller. This is called content controller, as you can see right here. And I'm just going to uh, paste my, uh, my name here. I'm going to say this is the data source, the merge field on how to find the content controller. And I want to split it over a page break. I do not need, uh, I don't want to reuse the merge field. So I'm going to say that it can remove the entire paragraph of this merge field. Okay, that's it. Now that section is already configured. And now, of course, I want to print out my product. So you can just have uh, yeah, uh, nested uh, uh, actions to take. If, for instance, you have a nested data source or you want to repeat any rows in here, whatever, that is perfectly possible. Now I want to just make it easy. And I'm going to say I'm going to use a single config type. And in the single config type, I'm going to print out my product name. OK, let's save. If everything goes OK, yes, no errors. So now let's test my, um, my document. As you can see here, I have two products. So I expect two sections to be repeated with one page break in between. Now let's generate the document. So as you can see here, this is the uh, first paragraph that is or the first uh, section that is repeated. And I have my name of my first product. And then as expected, a page break. And then I have my second paragraph, uh, sorry, my second content block with the name of my second uh, um, of my second product. So that's how easy it is to just, uh, yeah, to just repeat blocks of content inside your Word documents.